guys so welcome back we are here today to talk about the most popping is collection popping is collection from the what last week when it launched yes friday friday yep. yeah because we was at work yep <laughs> last week by friday the most popping is collection which is the fenty beauty so we wanted to bring you guys a different type of video because i know everybody has been reviewing it but we wanted to give you guys some color range right. to show you how the collection looks on two completely different skin tones right. so you guys can know what products to get what products you're thinking about buying and if you are anywhere in between these shades you can have a general idea of what you need what you need and what to get so we're gonna go into the first Fenty product, which is the primer. We actually did not buy the primer. We <laughs> wanted to we try it out first. Right. Yeah. We got samples because we had already spent enough money. Right. And did you, you know a lot of people don't know they can get samples in Sephora. Anything that Sephora sells, you can get a sample, sample. of. How do you feel about the primer? I like the primer, but I wore it yesterday and I really liked how my skin looked in the video with mm -hmm. it. Now, I am a uh, very oily girl, so I'm interested to see how it's gonna hold up. I did that video at night, so I really won't be able to tell, but I'm gonna actually go over this just on my nose with the Becca Evermatte, just because my nose is like, thank you. <laughs> the oiliest of my face. And in this video, we're gonna do different takes on the product, so I'm just gonna use the primer by itself um, on my skin, which is kind of normal, sometimes dry, but it's been pretty normal lately. So I'm just gonna do the primer by itself. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and color correct because, you know, I am a dark skin girl <laughs> and my skin is not even all the time. Next, we're gonna move into foundation. Um, and this is the packaging of the foundation. I'm sure you've probably already seen it. I am in the color 390. And I am 450, <laughs> but but I could possibly be 460. I have been wearing 450 and I really like 450, but I ordered 460 because they were out of 450 online. Mm -hmm. And after I had saw like a few reviews of people who were um, my skin tone or close to my skin color, and they had them 450 and they said it oxidized. Right, I was like, oh, 460 might be too red. So yeah. Make sure you shake your foundation before you put it on. Yes, and it says it on, on here. the bottle shake and the box. Well, okay, because yes. it's kind of um, watery. Yeah, it's very liquid. It's very yeah. liquid, very, very liquid. So, so what do you put yours on with? So I put mine on my brush. She puts I put mine on my, on my hand. hand. And I'm using a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I'm using just a brush from Walmart. So if you guys know, I'm only doing one half of my face. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how 460 looks. And per predictions, 460 is gonna be darker. I think Kim already called it. She thinks 460 is gonna be my summer shade. Mm -hmm. And then 450 is gonna be my um, winter shade. So Kim, do you think, what kind of coverage do you think we're getting with this? I think we're getting a, I want to say like a, a medium, but on the lower range of medium. medium. Yeah, okay. but it is buildable. You can. And I'm going in with a beauty blender to blend the rest of my foundation. Okay, so this is 460, 460. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other, other, <laughs> other side. Okay, so this is 460 before I even blend it in. So you guys can see, you can see the color difference already, mm -hmm. but it it's oxidizes. It's a big difference I uh, no, And that's the thing about her products. Good. You can be actually two or three different colors in this line. Um, so you have to take a good amount of time out to make sure that you find the right color. If you go in the store, you don't want to rush or you'll be returning products, or you can ask for a sample. Or you can ask for a sample. That right. might be your best is to ask for a sample. One thing about the foundation though, I don't know if you notice it, but it does dry quick, so you have to work it, in sections. Yes. You do have to work in sections, so. See, I started at the bottom and kind of worked yeah. my way to the top, because I was like, even on my hand, like it's already yes, started it fits, yeah. to dry. And the makeup sets, so it, like, it feels like a powder is on my face right now. I don't know, you know what it feels. Somebody else said that. It does feel like a powder. Like it's not, you know how you put some foundations on and it's still wet and mm -hmm. it takes time to dry down? Like mm -hmm. this is dry down already. 
Okay. I like that side, the left side. <laughs> yeah. So this is four fifty, mm -hmm. and then this is four sixty. So this side has had more time to set, so you can tell. So yeah, I like I like four fifty too, because I can I can see the red the redness on right. this side. All right. So what foundations are done. So you guys, I bought um, a suede match stick. Um, concealer. Okay, mm -hmm. I already know it is not going to work, so I'm just going to swatch it on my hand. Um, I had ordered it before I saw it in Sephora. Maybe mm -hmm. I need to do a big swatch. I had ordered it before I saw it in Sephora, and it's just way too dry for yeah. my skin type. I and thought the for same me, thing when I swatched it too. It's like for me, it's almost like chalk. Right. So I am going to actually go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut. Ooh. What are you using? I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy in Medium Dark 2 Caramel. Mm. I think I am done setting. Okay, you know, as you guys can tell, she actually set her face with um, a powder and I did not, just to see how the foundation looks. And to be honest, I don't know if setting is necessary. You didn't set it. Mm -hmm. It looks good. I okay. didn't set it. And the pores. Let's talk about the pores because I have pores. You have pores? Yes, I have pores. Baby, when she says blurring, now we've all heard people have blurring foundations. But when Rihanna says she can make a blurring foundation, she made a blurring, she made a blurring, blurring foundation. foundation. <laughs> so that's good. All right. So on to the exciting products. Right. The highlighter. Yes, yes, yes. Bomb. Okay. So, so I'm actually, we both bought Rome, right? Yes, we okay. both got Rome. So you guys get to see how Rome looks on both of us. Right. Uh, see? So it this looks room. different on both right. of our skin. So now you can see how Rom will look on light skin versus dark right. skin. Okay. So I'm going to take Rom and I'm just going to go straight in with the stick and rub it in the areas that I highlight. So I'm going to do it on my, what do you call this? I forgot. Cheekbone? Cheekbone. There we go. Cheekbone mm -hmm. highlight. <laughs> and I'm going to do it down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on the top of my lip. So one thing we have both been playing around with y'all mm -hmm. is... Ooh. Ooh. And it's gonna be on my finger. And we both been talking about how well it layers with other highlighters. Right. So I'm just gonna take my hand and take it and go a little bit. Ah! Ah! Uh, I don't know. Not loving it? Not loving it. Looking like a little girl playing it. I'm gonna rub a little bit down the bridge of my nose. I don't know if y'all can see that, it, but it's very subtle. It's very subtle. That's what I was gonna say. Okay, so while we doing this, let's let's talk about the elephant in the room that we have not discussed. Trophy wife. <laughs> I bought trophy wife. So she I'm, bought trophy wife. I did I buy did trophy wife, but I don't know. I'm so scared of it because I just don't think it's going to work that well. Because I didn't realize how yellow it's it was. Very yellow, but beautiful. Beautiful though. Oh my god. Here's trophy. <sighs> Should I try it? You should try it. Okay. Okay. I, I already sprayed my brush. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I don't. I don't. Trophy wife as an eyeshadow is bomb. Hmm. Yeah. That now, um, y'all. This is a bit much for me. <laughs> Like, I, you don't do colors on your eyes. I don't do colors on my eyes. I don't know why I just sit up here and let her talk me into this. <laughs> do the eyes. Okay. Okay. Now I'm waiting on her. I put on my highlight. I put All on right. room. So I'm going to. Are we, both, are we going to layer it? Layer yes. It? Okay. So we're going to layer room. Because I. I know. So very subtle. Very it subtle. It is subtle, and but it looks way more. It doesn't look as subtle when you swatch it. Right. See, look doesn't look as subtle. But when you put it on, like it's a very subtle highlight. Um, the next product we're introducing, which are the duos. Yeah, the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duos. And we actually got two different colors in this. And we did not expect to get this. We didn't at all. I got Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And I got Mean Money and Hustler Baby. 
So what we're gonna do, we're both gonna layer them. And we're kinda using similar brushes, but mine's a little bit bigger. Ginger binge first, and then I'm using Moscow Mule. And I'm just gonna go in with Hustler Baby. And we're just gonna layer that. Ooh. Oh, Kim. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. Anything? Ooh, Jesus, the glow. Your face. With a glow. So now this is Moscow Mule. Ooh, now that is the kicker. Oh, I love that yeah. one. Moscow Mule looks really good. If you were, if you follow me on social media, I've actually, um, I took a picture yesterday, and if you saw my glow, <laughs> this was it. <laughs> this was what my glow was about. Oh my God, look at this. Should we serve the thing? Ooh, girl, look at this. <laughs> And one thing about these kilowatt duos is that they're two different sides. So you have one that's a little bit more intense. So in this one, um, Hustle Baby is a lot more in your face than Me Money. But Me Money is subtle. So on those days when you don't want a super bright glow, the other highlight is still pretty a lot. I don't know. I feel like I'm about to be extra and put trophy wife on top. I think it should. Just to see. I'm nervous. I oh, did see. not get trophy wife because I felt like it was too much. Oh, it is shit. a true yellow gold. This, this is yellow. Is yellow. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. And if you don't like glitter, you might not want to go with trophy wife because it is jam packed with glitter. It is jam packed. So I'm not going to use a lot. Like you really only need a little bit. So yeah, so this is with Trophy Wife added on top. Mm -hmm. I feel like it gave me more of a glitter just cause my eyes are winging too. Right. So, but I don't hate it, but mm -hmm. it's not a favorite. Right. I prefer um, the Kilowatt. Um, I, duos. The duos. I do too. I prefer I the duos, duos as opposed to Trophy Wife, mm -hmm. um, Ginger Minge and Moscow Mule. And the um, Shimmer Stick. And the shimmer stick. Right. I have one more product. I did pick oh, up the lip. Fenty Glow. It's a universal lip color. She only came out with one lip shade. I was a fan of it when I tried it in the store, but as the day went on, I told her, I hate when you get that little white residue in between your lips. I hate it. So I don't know. This might be going back. I'm going to try it on the day. It's, it's a nice color. If she going to Sephora one more time, they're going to hurt her. They're going to hate <laughs> color. It's a pretty color, but you can find cheaper options if you don't want to pay $18 for the lip gloss. Right. But it is pretty though. Mm -hmm. See, okay, so this is the thing. I did not get that because she let me swatch hers and I did it in the store. My lips are darker, so I would have to line and then put the lips on. And then I still feel like it was sticky on me. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't just still like a fan of it. But it looks good on her. I think it looks bomb. So you wanna finish our makeup off camera and then come back? Yeah, we're gonna okay. finish our makeup and then we're gonna come back to you guys in a second. Okay, so we're back. We have our full beats on. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give you an overall review of the line and what we thought. So the overall line, I you love. Okay, <laughs> let's, number one, overall line for you to come out with um, foundations. Yes. 40. 40. Okay, now I'm gonna give you my honest, honest opinion when I first saw it I was actually talking to my cousin Cherise mm -hmm. and we saw like a slew of like beige colors like the first seven looked the exact same and oh, I'm like seeing. is this gonna be a 40 shades of beige type deal 40 shades of beige. but we got to the darker lines and the line actually launched online and I saw how versatile just those few right. shades were I was like snap like this might be something because i actually wasn't gonna buy the foundation, the foundation. Mm -hmm. like i really was going back and forth about it but i'm so happy i did so the line as a whole is phenomenal yes. like it is it's everything it's everything mm -hmm. like if we have been to sephora in the last week how many times like three three Three, and I stay an hour away from, <laughs> from the closest Sephora. Right. So we really have just kind of like really been playing back and forth because we wanted to bring like a really good, solid, in, solid in-depth review right. of what we thought and how the line works on both of our skin tones. So let's go into foundation. Foundation. First. Okay, so foundation first. Um, I love the foundation. I, I love the consistency mm -hmm. of the foundation. It is 
more like a it's it's liquid and it's you liquid. do really need to shake it beforehand but it applies so yes. smooth now i will say we skipped the primer but i do think i might go back and get the primer you you're not i don't know I, i'm not i mean I, it's it's good I just don't know if I'm ready to give up my other primers. Now, it did good yeah, at blurring. True. It did good at blurring. I just, $34. I mean, it's kind of. Well, how much is it? Well, because are uh, we saying that? She's saying that probably only because the primers that we both use are not cheap. We both use Becca Evermatt. And I actually use Poor Professionals by Benefit. Mm -hmm. So, our primers. I mean, they do the, yeah, and they do the job. I feel they like do when the I job. find something do. that does the job and it does it well, right. I know I can count on that Becca. That's true. Um, hers is really like moisturizing, you know, like my face doesn't feel dry. But usually when I'm putting on a primer, I'm usually going outside and I'm going to do stuff. So right. I need something that performs. And to be honest, true. I haven't really put this through the full test yet. This is true. Now that is what I probably need to do. Put it through the absolute full test because um, I've only used the inside, so I'm saying right. it's good. But the reason I have the Becca is because I get so oily. oily. Mm -hmm. So maybe that might be something else to look at. But I'm seriously considering purchasing the primer it does pair well with the it foundation. does pair well with the foundation because my skin is looking snatched <laughs> all right all right so oh, cons about the foundation. okay cons okay. so my first con and I, I love white okay oh, but paired with this foundation this I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, it gets dirty. It does, and I have OCD, and it bothers so me so bad. Yeah, <laughs> um, you have to clean it if you want like a clean yeah. foundation towel. Like and another style. con that's not really a con for us because we know how to work with the foundation is that it dries fast. Oh yeah. Um, so you have to do it in sections, but I don't think that's really a big con. But it may be for other people that are not as experienced, I guess, with yeah. foundation. Um, I think that's my only con. Yeah, I love the foundation. That's probably my favorite. Uh, yeah, it's product. my favorite. Okay, and then we have uh, the rum. Okay, rum, the highlighters. Oh, y'all, I got a whole highlighter that I didn't even use. What? Blonde. Oh, wow. Yes, I didn't even use the blonde, but I'll swatch it for you guys so you guys can see it. But as you can see, I got on enough highlighter, so I don't need any more. <laughs> so I'm going to swatch it next to rum and let you guys see. So for me, it looks similar to Trophy Wife. Mm -hmm. It's just a matte form. It does. It looks similar. So this is the Trophy Wife. Kind of like the cream form. The cream form of Trophy Wife. I didn't even put that one on. I had completely forgot about it. So. The consistency? Yes, the consistency. I love it. I now, know. maybe a pro for you, come for me. It's not, when you swatch it, it's mm -hmm. Very pigmented, as you can see. This is rum here. Mm -hmm. It's very pigmented. And when you put it on, it is very subtle. Yeah, once you blur, once you kind of blend, blend it, out. it out. Yeah, I know this. It it's too. very subtle, so it's not. But when you pair it with the other when highlights, you pair it, as you can see, we looking snatched. Right. Okay. So let's move into Kilowatt. Oh, yeah. Who okay. has earned his name, Kilowatt? <laughs> see, I'm wiping them off. Yeah, Just that's wiping the thing. them. They're that's white. The yeah. And I'm not that clean for white. Right. I mean, whose makeup bag is totally clean? Totally clean, white. right. So she, once again, she got Me Money and Hustler Baby. And I got Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. So these are, next to the foundation, probably my next favorite. Yeah, these are nice. I was not expecting this pink to look so good on me, but it looked right. amazing. And we were not even going to buy these. Me and her met up at Sephora together. Yep. And decided. We decided we were going to get those. Like, I did not look for these at all. Nope. I was not looking for these. I was like, I don't want and those. And nobody was talking about nobody them. Nobody was talking about them. So I didn't even think about them. And I saw them, and I was like, mm, $34. Right. Mm. It's worth it, especially when you buy one of the shade sticks and um, pair it and pair it together. These two right here, as you can see, once again, are bomb. So she's used. You, you pair rum with. Uh, I pair rum with the yeah, um, hustle baby. I did hustle baby, and I did <laughs> rum with ginger binge, Moscow mule, and, and the trophy wife. So I'm over here with glitter to high heaven like bro. now i must admit i was not a fan of trophy wife i'm still not really a fan of it for me but on her skin it was yeah. good the only thing is the glitter transfer but it's ridiculous now that would be my con on trophy wife right. like but it's not the same on the the palace the kilowatt like right. i didn't have that much transfer yeah. but on trophy wife 
It's all the glitter. It was like, if you're looking for an everyday highlighter, Trophy yeah. Wife is not for you. Trophy Wife is definitely not right. for you. Okay, is that all? Oh, okay, so one thing we forgot to talk about, what we didn't, um, is the matchstick. Mm -hmm. My problem is, it is very dry uh, yeah, and drying. Like so when I swatched it, as you guys saw earlier, it just was, it, it was work. too dry. And I knew if it was dry then, by the time it made it to my under eye, it was gonna be super dry. So and you ended up not even using I it. I didn't even use it. I wasn't even gonna waste my time right. and try to go through that and then have to wipe it off. So for me, if you have deep set eyes or even um, just bags or fine lines, this right here already being dry is just gonna settle yeah, in those creases and, make it and it's gonna make it more prominent. Yeah. So okay, so what the oh, the lip gloss? Okay, and the lip gloss. I don't know. I fell in love with it again once I put it on my lips. I like the color. It kind of gives like a peachy vibe. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see the glitter. Do you see the glitter? I don't see the glitter. I don't see the glitter. I heard it, all the other reviews talking about the glitter in it, but I don't really see it. I'm gonna wear it a little bit longer and see if I get the white residue going on again. I wanna love it so bad, right. but as of now, it's a no. It's a no. It's a no. Okay, is that all our product? I think that's it. That is it. We made it to the end. Okay. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching this video on our Fenty Beauty review. Yes. Um, we pretty much went through all of the products and I hope you guys were able to take away something and see how it looks on lighter skin versus darker skin. And make sure you guys comment to tell me which side of my face you think. If you can tell. If you can even tell. Right. And right, like I can't tell. Like it's no different. So okay. which side is it you have? 450 here. Which side is this? My left, left. side. Left. <laughs> and 460 on my right so if you can't tell right you know i can't tell so anyway thank you guys so much again thank for you watching. and we'll leave links to our channels, channels below. below make sure you subscribe to both and support us both like the video like comment comment subscribe subscribe and we will see you guys next time